Prospecting is a vital activity in our business. There are two types of prospecting that you can do active prospecting and passive prospecting. Active prospecting is when you are actively reaching out, doing the manual labor to start conversations with people. And there is a time and place for this. Passive prospecting is where you learn marketing and you learn how to position yourself in a way where people come to you, they reach out and they're interested already in what it is that you're doing, whether it be your business or your products or services that you're selling. And they raise their hand and they say, I'm interested and I want more information. When I first got started in network marketing, I did a lot of active prospecting, mostly because I didn't know how to market. Nobody was teaching this kind of stuff back then, but I did an a, a lot of active prospecting and it helped build that foundation. Then I learned that my personal reach only can go so far and it has a lot of limitations. And as a network marketer, I had to learn marketing. Since 2010, I have been utilizing my passive prospecting and marketing strategies to attract people to me on autopilot 24 hours a day, seven days a week that are already interested in what I have to offer. And I don't have to necessarily actively reach out to prospects anymore. And in this video, I wanna share with you one of the ways that I do this. So let's dive in. Welcome to the Wired to Crush It show. I'm your host, Tanya Eliza, and I've been in the network marketing profession since 2009, and I've been building my business 100% online using my automated selling and recruiting systems. I've built a multiple seven-figure brand and business, and this stuff does work if you implement it. If you like this kind of stuff and you're an entrepreneur or network marketer, I release a new episode every week here on the show, so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss an episode. There are thousands of people online searching for the benefits of what your business or your product provides. We just need to find a way to get in front of them. Something to remember also is that people like to buy, but they do not like to be sold. Now there's something that I learned a long time ago that is so powerful in my business today and will massively help you. It's called the law of reciprocity. And I learned this inside of the book called The Psychology of Influence. I'll link to it in the show notes below. If you have not read this book, read it and read it every single year. Because if you're marketing products or services or yourself, which everybody is, we need to know the six human triggers that get people to take action with us. One of the triggers is the law of reciprocity. The law of reciprocity basically states that if you give something to somebody and they get value out of that in some way, that that person that is receiving that value feels indebted to the other person. They want to reciprocate that action. They want to give back in the same way. So understanding that People like to buy, but they don't like to be sold. And understanding the law of reciprocity, those two basic things. Understanding that as a marketer, this is why I do high value content every single week for my tribe, for the people that I'm trying to attract and for the people that I am trying to bring in to my world. Now, if you notice every single week since 2014, I put out a brand new high value piece of content that is on the interwebs that helps me to position the brand, give value and attract my tribe. And that piece of value that I spent time working on one time has the ability now to work for me 24 hours a day, seven days a week, which provides ultimate leverage. Now, the problem that most people have is that when they create content online or you do your social media posts, people have a hard time getting that content to convert into a sale or money of some kind. And this is where a lot of my magic comes into play. And my formula for this is give high value or even value, it doesn't necessarily have to be high value. I like high value, but give value, then give more value, then make a recommendation or a suggestion for people to buy your product or join your business. And this is the formula that I've used for many years. I'm gonna break it down here in this video a little bit, but I'm more of a visual learner. So I have a really cool invite for you if this is something that you wanna learn more in depth even after you watch this video. I put together a free masterclass called my Revenue Multiplier Masterclass, and I basically 
pull back the curtains of my seven figure business and I show you my three smart marketing strategies that I'm implementing right now to attract high value customers and high value teammates to me every single week on autopilot using this strategy, value, value, recommended suggestion and or into your products or services. So I wanna invite you to that. You can go to tanyaeliza.com forward slash class and you can register for free and watch that training that I have that shows you, not necessarily just tells you, but shows you exactly what I'm doing in detail. I'll leave a link where you can also register in the show notes section or the description section of where you're tuning in right now. Okay, so here's just a little example. So let's say that you have a healthy, all natural energy drink as part of your product line and that's one of the things that you sell. So obviously you want to attract people who already like energy drinks and maybe have a health conscious mind, right? So you want to attract those people. It's way easier to talk to people or sell people your product or service if they already have a need or an interest in it in some way versus trying to convince somebody who doesn't drink energy drinks and thinks that they're bad for you to buy your healthy energy drink. It's 10 times easier to just talk to somebody who's health conscious already and who already likes energy drinks. So that's the mindset that we want to go into when we're creating high value content for them. So maybe you do a very quick live video or YouTube video, or even just a video that you post on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you post it. But let's say you do a video. I love video. So let's say you do a video and it's a very simple video. It's three ingredients you must avoid in all energy drinks that you're drinking that most people don't know about that are really bad for you. Let's say you just do that type of a video. Now, my favorite tool that I use in my business, and I talk more about this and I show you some really cool examples in my revenue multiplier masterclass, but my favorite tool is freebies. If you haven't noticed already, I give away a lot of freebies in my business because it is a great way to give value, value, and then make your recommendations and suggestions in these freebies. So let's say you have a freebie that they can request from the video that you're shooting on the three ingredients that they must avoid. And then in that video, you give them the opportunity to get a freebie to continue that journey with you. And let's say they're already watching the video all about the three ingredients that they must avoid in their energy drink. So you know, like they're into this kind of stuff, right? And let's say you now have a freebie that you wanna give away that helps them even more, gives them more value. So the freebie could be 17 all natural ways to boost your energy levels without harsh chemicals or ingredients that are going to kill your gut microbiome. Now, if I was interested in naturally increasing and boosting my energy levels, which a lot of people are out there, I would be interested in knowing these 17 all natural ways to boost my energy levels. Now, one of the ways in this freebie, guess what it's going to be? is the product that you sell. And in that freebie, you're delivering more value. You're invoking the law of reciprocity. People are viewing you as a credible authority that gives away great value. And then you're going to make your recommended suggestion in the freebie for people to go and buy your all natural energy drink that you sell. And you're gonna include your buy link in that freebie. If you've downloaded any of my freebies in the past, you know I love this strategy and it's a really great way to give value, give value, and then make your recommended suggestions into your product or business. Now, if you put this together in an automated funnel, which I talk about more in the Revenue Multiplier Masterclass. This funnel is working for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, bringing you high value leads for your business, prospects for your business that are interested in what it is that you're selling because you've constructed it that way. And then you're able to also, because of those buy links in the freebie that you have, you're also able to make automated sales inside of that funnel. And this is my highest suggestion. So as you're doing your active prospecting, which there absolutely is a time or place for actively doing your reach outs to help build your team and build your customer base, you're also carving out a little bit of time extra to put your passive marketing strategy in place so that you never run out of high value clients, customers, teammates, prospects for your business. 
And again, part of that little bit of time that you dedicate is learning how to do this properly. And that's why I put together a free masterclass for you. It's my revenue multiplier masterclass because it's exactly what it's designed to do is to increase and multiply your revenue in your business. And you can head over to tanyaeliza.com forward slash class to get registered for free while we have that up right now for you. And I'll leave a link in the description area of where you're tuning into this episode. So you can quickly click that and go over and get registered to see how this is all done behind the scenes. Today, no matter what I do, whether I show up for work or not, whether I put one ounce of hours or minutes into my day at work, I have a steady flow of business that comes to me. People that wanna work with me, people that wanna buy my products, because I took the time to put this strategy in place for my business. This is the magic of passive prospecting and learning marketing for your business. If you found value in this episode, talking about active prospecting, passive prospecting, make sure to like it, make sure to share it with anybody that you think might find value as well. Drop me a comment and let me know what you love most about it below. And I'll see you on the masterclass, hopefully that you get registered for. And I'll also see you next week here on the show.